Welcome back to Legendary Tributes. Henry Charles Bucha was a Native American professional ice hockey center. Bucha played in the National Hockey League, NHL, and World Hockey Association, WHA, between 1971 and 1977. In the NHL, he played for the Detroit Red Wings, Minnesota North Stars, Kansas City Scouts, and Colorado Rockies while he played for the Minnesota Fighting Saints in the WHA. Internationally, Bucha played for the American national team at two world championships and the 1972 Winter Olympics, where he won a silver medal. Henry Bucha died on September 18, 2023 at age 72. Constant Elaine Clayton was an American educator and civic leader. From 1982 to 1993, she was the superintendent of the school district of Philadelphia. Clayton holds distinctions of being the first woman and the first African American to serve as superintendent of schools in Philadelphia. Clayton died on September 18, 2023, at the age of 89. Brereton Chandler Jones was an American politician from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. From 1991 to 1995, he was the state's 58th governor and served from 1987 to 1991 as the 50th lieutenant governor of Kentucky. After his governorship, he chaired the Kentucky Equine Education Project, KEEP, a lobbying organization for the Kentucky horse industry. Jones died on September 18, 2023 at age 84. Joe Matt was an American cartoonist best known for his autobiographical work, Peep Show. Matt was nominated for the 1989 Harvey Award for his coloring work on the Batman Grendel series. While working at his drawing desk, Joe Matt died of a heart attack on September 18, 2023. He was 60. Joanne A. Epps was an American law professor, legal author, and academic administrator. After serving as the executive vice president and provost of Temple University, she was the university's 13th president. After her death, Temple's Board of Trustees posthumously named Epps University President, removing acting from her title. She died on September 19 at age 72. Stephen Grady Gould was an American held in tenor who made an international career. He performed around 100 times at the Beirut Festival, especially as Tan Hauser, Siegfried, and Tristan. All three, even in one year, 2022. Gould appeared at leading opera houses worldwide. Stephen Gould died on September 19, 2023 in Virginia at age 61. James Fulton Hodge Jr. was an American journalist and magazine publisher who was the editor of Foreign Affairs and the Peter G. Peterson Chair at the Council of Foreign Relations. His principal area of expertise were U.S. foreign policy and international economic policy. James F. Hodge Jr. died at Wild Cornell Medical Center on September 19, 2023 at age 87. Eugene Francis Buddy Tevens III was an American college football player and coach. He played quarterback at Dartmouth College, where he was later the head coach from 1987 to 1991 and from 2005 until his death. Tevens also served as the head football coach at the University of Maine, 1985 to 1986, Tulane University, 1992 to 1996, and Stanford University, 2002 to 2004. Tevens died on September 19, 2023 from his injuries in the accident. He was 66. Richard Clarence Clark was an American politician who represented the state of Iowa in the United States Senate as a Democrat from 1973 to 1979. Clark and his wife, Julie Kennett, had three children. Clark died at his Washington, D.C. home on September 20, 2023, from a heart attack six days after his 95th birthday. Robert Eugene Dernbaugh was an American Major League Baseball player. He played in two games at shortstop for the Cincinnati Redlegs in 1957 and grounded out in his only major league at-bat, Dernbaugh died in Dayton on September 20, 2023 at age 90. David James Mack III was an American politician. 
He was a member of the South Carolina House of Representatives from the 103rd District, serving from 1997 to 2020. Mack was a member of the Democratic Party. Mack died on September 20, 2023, at the age of 69. Lucy Morgan was an American longtime reporter and editorialist at the Tampa Bay Times. Lucy Morgan died on September 20, 2023, following complications from a fall in May. She was 82. Jack Sandlin was an American politician who was a Republican member of the Indiana Senate, representing Senate District 36 from 2016 until his death. From 2010 to 2016, he was a member of the Indianapolis City County Council for the 24th District. He also served as a Perry Township, Indiana trustee from November 1997 to December 2006. Sandlin died on September 20, 2023 at age 72. Hollis Watkins was an American activist who was part of the civil rights movement activities in Mississippi during the 1960s. He became a member and organizer with the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, in 1961, was a county organizer for 1964's Freedom Summer, and assisted the efforts of the Mississippi Freedom Democrat Party to unseat the regular Mississippi delegation from their chairs at the 1964 Democratic Party National Convention in Atlantic City. Hollis Watkins died on September 20, 2023 at age 82. Jeremy Silman was an American international master IM of chess and writer. Silman was born in Del Rio, Texas on August 28, 1954. He began playing chess at the age of 12. He has won the American Open, the National Open, and the U.S. Open, and was the coach of the U.S. Junior National Chess Team. He attained the IM title in 1988. Jeremy Silman died in Los Angeles, California on September 21, 2023 at age 69. That's a wrap for today. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content.